Good morning, good morning, everybody. Hey, painters. I think I'm just gonna get rolling because I wanna build in some good work time for you all. This summer, in thinking about teaching this fall, I was all, all over the place, right? And we didn't really have a, a clear understanding of, of exactly how best to prepare. Okay, I'm a student. I don't have much furniture. I certainly don't have a fancy easel. Uh, what do I have? So I started building in my guest room at home some mock-up, if I were a student, remote studio situations. I ended up changing my supply list, uh, fewer paint colors to free up some dollars for students so they could buy good lighting. I also thought about how we work in the studio. We work observationally in painting one. That means looking at a still life. So we have created still life boxes. And basically, it's a, it's a roving still life. It's in a shoe box, and they build a little environment with three objects. They light it with an LED, and it can go wherever they are, wherever they decide to work. And so that, I think, will set them up for success in terms of uh, having consistency with what they're painting and flexibility. In terms of my teaching setup and teaching remotely, it was important to me that students be able to see the painting palette and see me mix color. It's important for them to see what I'm painting, what I'm demoing, but also what I'm looking at. So they need to see three things, the palette, the painting, and the still life. So, <laughs> me being low tech, I had a lot to learn. So I've still got a few things <laughs> To, to iron out there, but uh, it's been working so far. Uh, students are able to see what I'm doing. They're able to see my face and my personality and gestures, which is a big part of my connection with students. And then they're able to see, right, all of the elements of how to paint. And I think one of the exciting things about making videos and learning how to do this is I am absolutely gonna bring it forward when we're back to in-person. Absolutely, because when students miss class, ordinarily for illness or what have you, it's hard to recreate those class scenarios. So now I've got these videos and I'm gonna to continue to make them. So it's gonna make the classroom experience, teaching experience stronger as I move forward as a painting faculty member. There is a bright side here uh, to, to what I've been learning.